things from a chestnut tree. So all you'll need is a spray bottle, some rooting powder, some secateurs, and a branch from a chestnut tree. So here's what it will look like when you first take it. Make sure you have permission to take it. It's on a neighbour's tree. You want, you want it to be about pencil whips thick. And you want to take off all the side shoots. And you just want to leave a couple leaves on. Then, all you'll do is you want to cut just above a leaf node. So this is what it'll look like. You'll need only to be about four to five inches long. Um, this is some I did earlier. And all I'm going to do now is get the bottoms wet and dip them in the rooting powder. So once you've got the bottoms wet, you want to take off any leaves below the top inch. So leaves like this, you just want to remove them. Because they'll just go rotten otherwise. Um, so now we have our cutting, we want to prepare the growing medium. For that, all I'm using is some uh, just compost and some rooting powder. And all I will actually do, hang on, I actually add some of the rooting powder to the um, compost. I just find this gives it an extra little boost. Then take the cutting, dip it in the rooting powder, just like that, and then just push it in at the side of the pot. And I'll just do that for all of them. There we go. Another one. Pop it in. Push it in. Remove that leaf, actually. But you get the idea. So, the reason why I'm doing this, so many chestnut trees, is that I'm going to plant these in and around where I live, you know, just some like, in the parks and things. So, dip it in the rooting powder, push it into the pot, and I'll do that and come back to it. So I went ahead and did all of the cuttings, I top up the pot of compost, just like that, and give the leaves a quick spray with some water. Refine this. I'm um, trying to take your cuttings from a immature tree. It's a tree that's sort of only a couple years old. This way, the cuttings will take easier. So I've done one, two, three, four pots of six. That's six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four cuttings I've taken. You can place a plastic bag over if you want to. I don't bother doing that, but there we have it. Um, 24 chestnut trees. Like I said, I'm going to plant these in and around, like, on the grass verges and things. Once they've rooted. And the last step is to just give them a really good drink. And you want to keep these in indirect sunlight. And I'll do an update video in about two or three weeks, just to sort of see how they're getting on. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this inspired you to take some tree cuttings. These are edible chestnut. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Also, just want to add, make sure the trees aren't grafted when you do this, because it won't grow true. It will um, grow as what they put on the rootstock. This tree wasn't grafted, um, so yeah, that's what it should look like. Out of direct sunlight, um, it's mid-May at the moment, it's the perfect time to take it. This wood is about a year old. Um, you don't want to do new growth like this, this is a side shoot. But try as an experiment to put those on. These will obviously grow quicker. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Also, just as an experiment, I've, I've, um, all the side shoots, I took all the leaves off, and I potted them on. Obviously, they're not as thick as this. 
I don't know if you can see that. They're not as thick, so they'll be more flimsy. But um, once you've taken away your cuttings, you just want to give them a mist. And like I've said before, keep them out of direct sunlight. Don't let them dry out. And um, check them in about four to six weeks. I'll do an update video in about three weeks' time. Yeah. 